Hello, hello, I am Perfidious P, and welcome to X, uh, episode 3 of Perfidious P Plays XCOM The Long War. And last mission we uh, did pretty well, had a completed mission there, didn't lose any soldiers at all. And we're just going to go ahead, got all our base maintenance done, all our soldier maintenance done, we're going to go ahead and scan for activity and see if we can pick up another mission. Oh, Paris Hilton is back on duty, the world is in good shape. It's nice to know that the world's most famous celebutante is defending our freedom. Says lift is completed. Let's take a look at our facilities here. Anything that we need to build. Uh, we do want to start excavating, excavating rather, over towards this steam vent. We can put a power facility in this neighborhood once we've uh, got a little more cash. And with that done, then it's just going to be back to scan. UFOs in Argentina, probably going down for the World Cup. Chris Brown back on duty. Oh, good thing. Detected. You can send him out to, you know, if an alien needs punched in the face 40 times, he's the man. And let's get an interceptor up. Going to balance attack here. We actually would like to shoot these guys down, hopefully get some EXP for our soldiers with the contact on the enemy ships, so. Oh, that guy's an ace pilot. Contact detected. Let's send another one. Apparently we launched Cougar and Merlin the first time. Let's hope this time we've sent out Goose and Mav. Bangs out. We will name our pilots eventually as well too, but probably not until they actually start getting some UFOs. So they destroyed that one, that means no EXP for our ground forces, but it does award us a little bit of cash, and that's okay. Also is good for advancing time, just so we can get some more research completed. We're detecting a new contact, much larger than anything we've previously encountered. That's a large UFO. We're not going to be able to shoot that down. If we launch an interceptor, it's just going to get damaged and then have to be repaired, so we're just going to ignore that. And hopefully it will land and do an abduction mission or something that we can then perhaps go fight them on. Although assaulting a large UFO with rookies is kind of a suicidal option. Okay, it's going to do an abduction mission. That's good, actually. We can. That's something we can combat. So. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Oh, they must be after the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Because they're certainly not after the Dallas Cowboys. All right, we're going to go ahead and clear everybody up. Get our soldiers lined out here we're going to take two of our trained troopers so we'll have two experienced troops and then we're going to take the rest is going to be rookies so let's go ahead and take mel gibson uh crazy sniper and who else should we take let's take a medic let's get old chris doc brown out there Gonna change Mel. Now on the loadout on this, we are gonna put tack armor on everybody. For the sniper rifle, we're gonna switch to the marksman's rifle instead, because I like the mobility it offers. Gonna get rid of that AP grenade, give him a laser sight. It's important that he hits what he shoots at. And then he's also gonna be carrying one of our med kits. It's unlikely as a sniper he's gonna be close enough that he'll be in grenade throwing range, so. For old Chris, aka Doc Brown, we're just gonna swap that out for a med kit. And other than that, eh, do I not have any sawed-off shotguns built? I must not have built any sawed-off shotguns. That's something we're definitely going to have to fix. The sawed-off shotgun is pretty handy. I'm going to give him the heavy armor. He can stick with the assault rifle. It's fine. And a pistol, apparently, because I don't have the shotgun. And now let's take some of our best rookies. Although, looks like most of the promising crop has already been harvested. Oh, we're going to get up to 72. That guy's okay. Or gal, rather. We'll throw her in. Anybody else look good? Here's a 68 for Shauna Harrington. We'll toss her in there. And a 69 for Riku Goto. Pitch her on. Or him on. Man, I've got every gender wrong. Alright, that's our crew, so let's start updating some equipment. 
And in order of preservation for the rookies, we're going to give them as thick an armor as they can carry. She is going to be using a laser sight. The rest of the rookies are pretty much going to be geared identically. They're just going to get heavy armor and a laser sight instead of the HE grenade. Although we may keep one HE grenade, maybe. We have somebody who has an aim that's high enough to warrant foregoing the laser sight. Get our lowdown going. He's already got the laser sights, give him the heavy armor. And you know what? Instead of an AP grenade, well, he's going to keep the laser sight because his aim kind of shitty. He's going to go with the laser sight and an HE grenade in case we needed to destroy some cover. And let's go to Dallas. We have visual on the mission site. At least it's a short flight. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. Of course it's densely populated. Look at all those fast food restaurants. America. Sky Rangers coming down. I think the aliens have stopped in at TGI Fridays for the all-you-can-eat appetizers. Ten bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Even if you have to travel from Alpha Centauri to make it. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. That's right, and we'll bring you home an order of cheese wedges on the way back. On my way. Alright, let's start moving out here, get everybody into some cover. Now, these fences are an unusual construct, whereas it looks like they should be terrible cover. They're actually full cover, and they block line of sight, so. Unusual, but, or rather counterintuitive at the least, but they are effective. But that says it's not providing any cover at all. Maybe that's something they fixed. This is our marksman. Move him up going overwatch. We're going to be real conservative, just like normal, till we actually finally spot some aliens we don't want anybody doing anything too crazy or suicidal just running around willy-nilly anybody we're gonna do anything crazy with it's gonna be Chris Brown and it sounds like the aliens are in the restaurant Probably demanding a delicious buffet. Alright, so we've got Mel Gibson and Chris Brown leading this all up. With that combo there, I sort of feel like the aliens are due for one serious ass kicking. Got it covered. Position confirmed. Odo. Watch now. Mel has his sniper rifle, or rather his marksman's rifle. We're gonna back him up a little bit because it does have a range penalty. At super close range, it gets the close range penalty like our the full sniper rifle. It's just not as severe. Go ahead and dash up here to this door so we can kick it open next turn. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry that you're stuck to the pavement. I have to step around you. And there's really no ideal position for this. Trooper, let's just move Harrington up here and she's going to go on over. He can cover the pipe there. Oh, aliens on a roof. Yoda with a great shot through the window takes out an alien. All right, so there is at least one alien on the roof. Seems like to combat the roof troop. Let's let's take Harrington up and just kind of scout it out a little bit. There should be a place where she can get at least half cover. As long as the alien isn't on Overwatch, she should be all right. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to put her on Overwatch. And then we're going to take Luna Tunes here. Go ahead and move him up as well. Get him up there. He won't be able to go on Overwatch, but this is a good way to pin down any of the aliens that come up for any roof shenanigans. They've got to deal with them. they got to get through Mel Gibson to get behind us, so. Move up here. Open this door and see what we can see. 
Looks clear. What about this door? I can't really see anything else. We're not gonna move. Let's just go on Overwatch. I'm on it, Commander. Now there was at least one alien over here because Godo took him down with a blistering Overwatch shot. We're on Overwatch. Then we're just gonna be very cautious here. There should be, if we spawn at least one sector, there should be at least two more or perhaps a pair of drones, but that guy's not running around alone, so we're going to be very careful. And we spawned a wave in probably the worst possible position. Our last man to move popped the wave. So he's, he has no choice but to fall back. And we have a ton of troopers now who are in just awful positions. They're maybe getting to get flanked here. It looks like the aliens are playing kind of cautious. We got lucky. We have one trooper who has vision on an alien. Both of those aliens are on Overwatch, which is very bad for us. All right. He does have shots, and he should have a reasonable chance to hit. Got a pretty good shot at either one. Let's let's take out that one because I think the other troopers are less likely to have a decent shot at him. Alright, Mel Gibson, proven his worth. He is, in fact, a lethal weapon. 29% to hit, that's not great. He can't even see anyone. Curious whether or not she's going to be able to move up without popping an Overwatch. Let's, let's play conservative and just bring her up here. Maybe she can draw the Overwatch. Actually, wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Alright, lucky miss there. We had pretty good long range, so that alien's chance to hit was pretty low. And her chance to hit is quite good. We'll take that 48%, absolutely. And she delivers. It's a hit, not a kill, but you take what you can get. We get a flank shot. Take the flank, 77. Pretty good chance for Chris Brown. And of course, he delivers a critical hit. Punch that alien like it was Rihanna. Alright, well, let's continue moving. Just finish up the turn here. Oh! Surprise alien coming into flank. Farasani got to drop on him, put him down. That was a lucky move. We could have been in a bad position if that alien had gone untouched. He would have probably gotten in a flanking shot and took down one of our troopers. Just move up, take cover behind this table. We're going to put Shah Shazad on Overwatch here. Yota's going to move up behind this planner and also go on Overwatch because we would like to fetch that meld canister if we can. We don't want to be too crazy in our rush for the meld canister. Uh-oh. Oh, what a shot. That was clutch move from Goto there. That guy has proven to be quite a trooper. That's his second Overwatch kill. Guy has the makings of a fine trooper. All right, let's have Brown walk up, peep out this window here. Don't see any aliens. Take Goto, the madman here. Uh, he can get to... You know what? We're going to dash into this full cover. Either we'll pop a wave of aliens or next turn we get some meld. All right, that worked out okay. We're just going to keep advancing slowly here with Arasani in the back of the restaurant. He's just going to slowly advance and just maintain kind of an overwatch as he goes. Move Shazad up, just repeat our last turn. Overwatch with the behind the table. The rest of this rooftop looks pretty clear. Let's go ahead and do a doubled move. We're going to dash with Harrington. Alright, she didn't pop a wave. And that should clear us then to dash with Gibson. Get up there, Mel. I'm, I'm going to guess you heard an alien. Alright, now uh, we've got aliens in two directions. We're going to have Yodo. Just He's going to move very slightly. Just take cover behind this meld canister. Retrieve the meld. 
He really needs to reload, but we're going to put him on Overwatch. He's kind of isolated over there. It'd be pretty risky to have him just defenseless. Move Harrington up to the corner of this building. We're going to put her on Overwatch as well. And we're going to start working our way towards that other meld canister. We don't want to forego any Overwatch shots on the way, though. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing that's a good thing. We got gonna get some overwatch actually the aliens reaction movement is gonna pop a couple Harrington with the miss and it's just drones and the AI for drones seems a little off occasionally sometimes they do a, some stuff that doesn't really make sense so falling on the wave of drones isn't isn't too terrifying get a decent shot we'll go ahead and take that Chris Brown missed wow Gibson has a shot, gonna take it. That's a kill. No and Farasani's still in the back, all alone, still advancing, so he's just gonna maintain his methodical pace with the moves and the Overwatch shots. Move up here into this cover, see if we can get a shot. We can. Whatever it is, we're gonna take it. That's a miss, but she is hiding behind a soda machine, so she should be relatively resilient if any return fire comes. Chris Brown may be in a dangerous spot. Lucky miss there. He's going to get shot at least once more. Even if he takes the hit, though, probably shouldn't kill him. Ah, yep, yeah, see? He even resisted the panic, which is unexpected, because, you know, Chris Brown probably more used to dishing it out than taking it, so surprisingly resilient for the young rapper. Singer, R&B, hip-hop, whatever he does. Harrington's going to take a shot. Another miss from Harrington. He had a strong start, but... Uh, and Godot's Overwatch blew his ammo. So he has no choice but to reload. Gibson has a shot. He's going to take it. 55%. Better than a coin flip. 3 for 3. That guy is a butchering machine. And then again, he is Mel Gibson. So, I mean, what would you expect? Not on Overwatch. Brown's going to try and get a little better cover. Take that shot. Another miss. Still up. Moving out. Well, Farasani's in a terrible position to contribute much, but he can perhaps at least cover as a teammate. And bump up to this window. Cover is worse, but we do have a shot that way. Another whiff. Hey, some of these troopers seem like they have uh, vested interests in keeping ammunition companies in business. I think they must own stock in Remington or Smith & Wesson or something. Arrington's out of ammo. Gonna have to reload. Brown is out of ammo. He's also gonna reload. Goto just reloaded, though. Let's see if he can get another kill. Yes, he is. Racks up three. Alright, and that's a mission ender. Some fine work from Goto there. Three kills for a rookie is a pretty impressive performance. Gonna head back to base, see who got promoted, and start assigning some names. Looks like they're really taking care of business down there. Shazad, promotion despite getting no kills and contributing next to nothing. Goto, of course, got promoted because he's a madman. And Farsani got a kill early and enough to get him a promotion also. Let's go ahead and get these guys lined out. Now she has a 72 aim. I believe we already have a scout. Let's go ahead and she's with the 72 aim. That's really high. We're gonna we're gonna make her another sniper. That'll be our second sniper. Dodo is a crazy lunatic. See, you know what? We're gonna go with a grenadier. And we have enough Grenadiers and Medics, and this guy's aim is mediocre. As long as he's not a Rocketeer, we sh we're just going to random him and just hope it's not Rocketeer. So he came he came out uh, as Scout. That's uh, that's actually okay. So 71 aim for a Scout. That's pretty reasonable. We can, we can deal with it. Got some loot. Quite a bit of meld we recovered from that mission. 
Although I think we got two canisters, so that's pretty good. 80, 80 credits there. And it's time to customize some soldiers. So who got promoted and doesn't have a name yet? This guy needs a name. All right. Or this gal needs a name, rather. Hmm. Who does she look like? Yeah, we'll have to come back to that one. We have to name her in another episode. I need to do maybe a little research. She doesn't really look like anyone or strike me as being overly similar to anyone famous. And we already have a Kim Kardashian, so. Who else needs a name here? Oh, Goto needs a name. Well, we don't have enough good research here for names on these guys, so what we'll do is we'll do a little research then. We'll get them. At the start of the next episode, we'll get everybody a name. We'll make sure everybody has somebody that goes right along with their face. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I had a pretty successful little mission. If you liked the video, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great week.